Hey everyone, this is the answer box section in the SEO workshop. So the answer box here uh, happens when Google takes your snippet of your web page and they showcase that at the top of the results. In early 2020, Google got rid of having multiple spots um, within their results. So let's say in January 2020, you could have this answer box right here and then have the first organic listing right below that. Google got rid of that. So now if you get into the answer box, you only have that. You don't have any of the organic listings below that. So for the term handicap parking, Kauffman Stadium, my side ranks at the very top of Google, I'm right there with the answer box. I'm gonna break down how this actually works. So the image is right here for my side, the stadium reviews. This is basically the H2 tag that they took from the page. This is the paragraph that would be underneath the H2. And then finally, this is the link that goes to my site. So I'm gonna click on that to explain this a bit further. So right here, if you click into it, Google does something interesting now where they're gonna highlight that from their search results page. So I did not highlight this content when I wrote it, but Google's AI now can pick up if a particular query is gonna match the intent of that searcher. So for example, my page itself is about Coffin City and parking. So I have the header one tag at the top. I have the image, so if you watch the previous videos as well, I've broken out how to optimize that image uh, directly underneath that header one. Uh, but if you scroll down a bit, what is highlighted right there is that, uh, is that featured snippet uh, right there at the very top. So Google highlights that because they know that as a user, if I'm searching for handicap parking information about Kauffman Stadium, they're gonna anchor it down. So when I click on that result, I land right here on my page. It's a great user experience. Uh, also, if you do a voice search on Google, uh, if you use uh, the Google Voice search on, on the app or use Google Now um, or even Google Home, if you ask this question, I'll actually read off the snippet to you, uh, which is pretty neat. So a couple of things to remember to rank at the very top one. Ask the question as an H2 tag. The header two tag has more weight than simply just a paragraph. Uh, the second thing is you need to answer the question in about two or three sentences. So if you have a header tag that says, you know, Coffin Stadium parking handicap spots, in the next two or three sentences, you have to go over basically all the rules um, of it, you know, what time you can show up there, how it works for the first come first serve, if there's anything you need to do with your handicap um, uh, ticket or pass this on your card, if you need to have like the sticker on your license plate as well. So it goes over all this information if it's needed for this particular query. So uh, just again, I'm gonna go back into Google. So if you search for handicap park in Kauffman Stadium, the stadium reviews ranks at the very top. You can't control if Google will show you in the answer box or not, but if you do all the steps of optimizing the images, having the header two tags on the page, answering their question in about two or three sentences directly below, and it's readable enough that Google then Google can then take that snippet and then read it out to users, um, you have a great shot at uh, getting at the very top.